Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up calendars and calendar options for Microsoft Project properly and to avoid uh, confusions which are number one problems when those things are not set up in the right way. For that purpose, I uh, will create only one project and I will call it my project and I will create one task. So here my project, sorry, my project and here I will create one task. Okay, and I will say that this task lasts two days. First of all, people get confused where, uh, because they think that duration here, so my task is supposed to have duration two days, should always be uh, 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 calculated like finish date minus start date, which is not true. So don't think that duration will directly show you start and finish date in a way that you can use formula finish date minus start date is duration. Let me show you first of all example. If I put here six days, okay, you will see that it will start on Wednesday and it will finish on next Wednesday. Why? Because I say six days and those six days are going to start here at Wednesday uh, 9th of uh, February 22 and it will last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday. They are not working days so it will uh, spread to the next week. If I, for example, change a project start date, which I can do by a project uh, tab and project information, and I say, okay, my project is supposed to start at Monday, 7th of uh, uh, February, it will be, it will start from Monday to, and uh, spread to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the six days, so the, those are five, day, five days, and six days will be done at next Monday, because as I told you, sun, Saturday and Sundays are not working days. But where confusion will start? Let me give you an example. I will say that task will have duration one day. So one day means from Monday, it will start at Monday and it will finish at Monday. Where does it come from? It comes from setup. You should align two setups. First setup is on file, option, schedule. And on schedule, you can see that my default start the time is at 8 a.m. Default end time is at 5 p.m. And hours per day are 8. So when you put one day of duration, it means that to fulfill this task, it should uh, have 8 hours. Okay. And the second thing which is set up is project calendar. So here project and if I go to change working time, I will find calendar for my project. So for my project calendars, work weeks here, details, and I can see that from Monday at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, my support my working time is from 8 to 12 which are 4 hours and from 1 to 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. which are another 4 hours so here i can see 8 working hours from 8 to 12 then i have a then a lunch break will, will be from noon to 1 p.m. And then the rest of four hours are going to be completed from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And that is why I have one day duration, which will start and finish at same day. Let me show you one thing. If I put here two days, it will start on Monday and finish on Tuesday. Now, let me show you how can 
uh, things go completely wrong. Let's say task one is one day, task two is two days. Everything looks fine. T task one is going to be started at Monday and uh, is going to be finished at Monday as well because its duration is one a day. And task two will start at Monday and finish on Tuesday because duration are two days. And that is because those things are aligned. Project schedule is aligned that hours per day are eight. And as I showed you, in work weeks uh, details, I can see that the working time is from eight to 12 and from one to five. So it should remain like this. But what if I change something? Let me show you an example. Let me say, for example, that my working time from, is not from 8 to 12 and from 1 p.m. to, so from 8 to noon and from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. But let's say I will now choose Monday, Tuesday, I will just drag and drop. And I will say set days to, spe days to specific working time. I will choose second row and I will hit delete key. So let's say that my working time is only from 8 to noon, 4 hours. Be aware that still I didn't hit OK button and hit OK. And those tasks are remains the same. So one day is from Monday to Monday and two days is from Monday to Tuesday. I will now go, go and hit OK and here hit OK. And you will see that my task one still has duration one day, but it will start at Monday and it will finish on Tuesday. My task two still has two days duration and it will start on Monday and it will finish on Tuesday. So uh, Thursday, sorry. So how can be uh, 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 this more visible? Let me scroll here and let me change this time scale. I will hit, I will uh, cover the changes of time scale in my separate video, but just for this purpose. Now I'm going to right click here. I will hit on time scale and I will say that middle tire will not show weeks, but it will show days, and the bottom tire. With no, will no show days like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc., but hours. And if I click OK, you will see I will now click on task one. I will uh, right click and I will say scroll to task. You will see that task one will be performed from 8 to noon, first day. OK, it is Monday. And then from noon till 8 of next day, not, work will not be performed, and the rest of four hours is going to be performed at Tuesday from 8 to 12. The same thing is here with task 2. From 8 to 12 at Monday, from 8 to 12 at thir Tuesday, from 8 to 12 at Wednesday, and uh, from 8 to 12 on uh, Thursday. So what I'm uh, saying is one day, so task should be, uh, uh, has duration one day. And project calculates one day is file, options, schedule. It is eight hours. So one day means eight hours. Two days mean eight hours multiplied by two, 16 hours. So to complete this task, task one, it should be worked eight hours, and for task two, it should be worked 16 hours. But those tasks, those hours can be performed only in available working time, which is from eight to 12 for each and every day. So. Yes, to fulfill the task one, I should work, uh, it should uh, uh, be spent 
eight hours, but those eight hours can be only performed from 8 to 12 each day. So it means that one day is duration, which means 8 hours, but it will be for, fulfilled at Monday and Tuesday for 8 to 12. And from uh, uh, for task 2, from Monday to Thursday, 8 to 12. So it can be confused if those two things are not aligned. File option schedule 8 hours should be aligned here with project calendars. Okay, here from 8 to 5 with 8 hours. So previously it was from 8 to noon and from 1 to uh, 5 p.m. And uh, the, those in some was 8 hours. Now, let me show you another example which will show you how can, be, uh, how can those things be much more confused. Let me show you another example. In my calendar, I will say that work time from Monday to Friday is not from 8 to 12, but let's say from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay? I will hit OK. And I will hit OK here. What will I get here? So, basically, one day duration will be fulfilled from Monday to Monday. And it will be worked from 8 to 4. Why? Because this task, this one day, means 8 hours. And it can be fulfilled from 8 to 6. And everything is clear here. But if I... Uh, look at the task 2, then I will see that task 2 will uh, uh, be completed in two days, but from at first day from 8 to 6, because this is my working calendars, so uh, uh, 12 hours are going to be fulfilled here, and the rest of 4 hours are going to be fulfilled here. Let me show you another example. Let's say that the work weeks is 60, the work weeks, a work day is uh, supposed to be 16 hours per day. Okay? So let's say from 8 to 0, okay, to midnight. Here, I will see that task 1 will be no change because it should uh, uh, be worked only 8 hours from 8 to 6, uh, to 4 p.m. But task 2 has two days duration and it will be fulfilled in, uh, uh, it will start from 8 a.m. At, mon uh, at Monday and it will be finished at midnight. Why? Because all those 16 hours, two days multiple by file option schedule, Eight hours is 16 hours, can be and will be fulfilled from 8 to midnight. So it still has two days, but it will start from 8 to midnight. So let me make a long story short. To get the right results, don't mix up different things in project calendar and in project schedule. So if I have here from 8 to 5, okay, and 8 hours per day, then I should have the same uh, uh, figures configured in project calendar. So from 8 to 5, 8 hours per day, I can say change working time, work weeks, details, and then I will say use project default time, which is from 8 to 12 or and from 1 to 5. Maybe I don't want to have a lunch break from, midnight, uh, from uh, noon to 1. Maybe I want from 1 uh, uh, p.m. to uh, 2 p.m. That can be done as well. So I will say from 8 to 1 and from to 
to 5. Nothing will be changed because start time and finish time is same like was in project schedule from 8 to 5. And the total number of hours per day is 8. From, so from 8 to 1 is 6 hours. And from, uh, uh, sorry, 5 hours. And from 2 to 5 is 3 hours. 5 plus 3 is 8. And that is exact, uh, and I will have exact the same result. So one day it will start from 8 to 5. Second day it will start from 8 to 12 and from uh, uh, 2 to, to, to 5, and the next day the same thing. So those things should be aligned, otherwise you will have strange results, and you don't want to have that. So I hope it helps, and have a nice